check out this custom eight foot long, four foot wide dining table. And we're gonna show you how to build it using metal, wood, our resin, only at Ligari.com. So enjoy the video. Mike is welding on the end caps for our table legs. He's put a nice thick bead, that way when I grind it down, we can get a nice square edge, because you're gonna be able to see these legs uh, the way we're gonna build the table. So once we were done grinding our legs and, and welding the end caps on, I set them on top of the table, traced around it, now I'm taking the jigsaw and cutting on the inside of the line, because I want these to fit nice and tight. Um, once I'm done cutting with the jigsaw, I'll dry fit the legs and then if I need to shave or trim any off I'll just do that by sanding or the bell sander that way I can get it nice and perfect Took the Bondo, filled all my screw holes, uh, ran it all on the face so I can get a nice smooth face. I'm gonna sand all this down now, and you guys will see see how it looks after that. So before we send our legs off to get powder coated and we started potting the table, we wanted to dry fit everything, make sure everything fit good. And look at how awesome these legs fit into the table. So Mike's under there tack welding the angle iron on to the legs and that's what's gonna bolt them on to the table. And you can see behind him, we got a leg laying there and that's what they look like when he's done. I got the primer mixed up, WB primer, pigmented black. And then I'm just gonna dip and roll this probably the easiest way to do it. You can dump it out and stuff, but I like to just dip and roll. Gives you a nice even coverage. show you an awesome technique using uh, water and some spray paint. So you saw me prime the, the, the tabletop. I did our black primer, I did two coats, so it's nice and black. And now I'm gonna just take a spray bottle of water and I'm gonna spray some streams on it, create an effect with the water. And we're gonna come through spray paint it uh, silver. And then once that spray paint's dry, I'm just gonna wipe it with a rag and you're gonna see how cool this looks. Super easy to do. Just, I'm going for a nice straight look. Um, you can do diagonals, random, whatever you want, but I'm going for the straight look. So, all you're trying to do is just keep it straight.
So what this, so what this is gonna do is the spray paint's gonna go everywhere the water's not, and then we can wipe it off the water, and everywhere the water was, it'll be black. Everywhere the water wasn't, it'll be silver. It's just an awesome, cool look. Super easy to get. And spray paint bonds to our primer extremely well. All right guys, so once it's dry, you're just gonna take a, a wet rag. And all you're doing is removing those black spots. And you can kinda See where so when you can get more off. You kind of see the big spots that are still a little wet. So that's kind of the process, and then we'll pull the tape, wipe it, clean it, and then we're gonna put the clear coat epoxy on it. Now keep in mind, if you're wanting that straight, that straight look that I have here, when you're rubbing off the paint, don't you know? Don't start going this way. Go with that. Go with that flow that you have. If you're going side to side look, you want to rub the paint off the same direction. Right, guys, that's the look you can get. Like I said, you can have more black show, you can have more silver show, you can use any colors you want. This is just an awesome, super easy technique that you can do. I'll just show you guys another look we did doing the same exact technique. We just sprayed more water, that way more of the black showed through, and then we added a little gold accents in it. So you can see the, the different look right there. Same exact technique. We just wanted this one a lot lighter of a, a, a dining table instead of so dark. So pretty cool technique. All right, so I got to make sure the table's level, as level as I could get it. I mean, it's pretty close. And then now I'm gonna do the flood coat. I'm using our glaze coat top coat here. It's extremely durable, high build, and we recommend this for all types of top coats or flood coats. When we do our flood coats or our finished coats, top coats, it's always good to do either use a foam roller. You want to use something that's not going to shed. So don't use a, a hair roller, a nap roller. You can use a squeegee. Like here, I'm using a paint stick, just trying to move it around real quick. And then I'm going back with a brush and kind of leveling it all off. But this will ensure that you don't get a bunch of fibers or hairs in your final coat. You know it's a quality resin when you can do a thick flood coat like this and not have any bubbles. We didn't torch it, we didn't spray nothing. It laid out perfectly smooth like glass. been hit um, when you do thick flood coats like this you want to stick around because the material will keep flowing over the edge in random spots you'll get you'll kind of get some runs 
Um, I'll actually show you guys on the camera real quick. But this looks absolutely phenomenal. Looks like there's a piece of glass on it. Turned out absolutely incredible. So you can kind of see the runs. It's hard to see them. Try to get in the right light. They're right, right over there. Kind of see them running down. You want to stick around and just keep hitting the edges until this stuff sets up enough to where it doesn't run anymore. What a fun project. Look how amazing this table turned out. We ordered these custom chairs for it from house.com. Super elegant look and feel. Um, glad you guys could watch the build. If you guys have any questions on how we did this, you guys can email us, lagaria gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're always posting new, cool, fun stuff you can do with our products. If you're not receiving emails when we post a video, go to your settings. Make sure that's turned on. Comment below. Share our video. Make sure you guys subscribe for your chance to win a free epoxy sample kit. Every 50,000 views that this video gets, we'll be sending one out. And remember, Ligari.com has you covered.